Today I'm going to talk to you about 5 different apps that every YouTuber must get coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So today we're going to discuss about 5 different apps that every YouTuber should get aside the normal YouTube app. So let's get into the video. Now when you go to this folder over here, I've named it YouTube because everything inside this particular folder, I use it for my YouTube stuff. And the first app that I'm going to talk about is the YouTube Studio. I believe most of us have the YouTube Creator Studio on our computers. If you're using a computer, most of it, you have the YouTube Creator Studio and this is the phone version of the YouTube Creator Studio. Of course. I have this on my Android and I'm very sure because I have other friends who use iPhone and then they can have this particular YouTube studio. What this does actually is that you can look out for all your analytics and how your videos are performing. You can check out for comments over here. Let's go to the analytics over here. You can see all the previous or what's going on actually in on your channel. So the real estimated views, the real time last pub published views the watch time the views and then all those things actually i'm not monetized yet you can't see the estimated revenues and all those things your videos that are performing better and those that are not and then you can check out for comments over here you can reply straight straight comments from here let's say you want to love a comment you just click on it and then it loves it you can also check out for likely spam comments so this is a particular app that will help you. you you don't need to go to the youtube app always to check out for notification and stuff so this is a great app that you might want to try if you're not using next is legend in about the past two videos that i did i talked about legend and it is used basically for making intros let's see how it is done let's say you have your name i put in innocence and then you click on this one over here and then you click on the play button so you can just check out from here it gives you different transitions that you can get my favorite over here is the trailer this one and then this particular one mask so it is very simple to use just create different um colors for your your intro and then afterwards you can import it into your video editor and add a music to it just simple after everything you just click on the download button over here and then you can download it very simple so if you're not having an intro and you want to make one you might consider picking up legend next i'm going to talk about tubebuddy most of us i believe are using tubebuddy on our computers that is fair enough but how about having it on your phone it is very interesting to use on your phone let's see what you can do with tubebuddy now if i click on this particular video that i uploaded about three days ago it has just 62 views let's see uh, it gives you some best practices that you you must apply to your videos if you want it to get better and better enough so it, it says that you have to upload a high resolution or a high resolution thumbnail add text to your title attacks to your description and stuff and then include info cards and so many things now one thing that you can check over here is on the tax you can see how your videos are performing so over here you can see that I'm I'm doing very well with this particular video maybe the subs the views are not just coming because I'm a small youtuber but it's consider almost all my tags are ranking and about five two seven Three, those are all the performances that you can see with TubeBuddy. So it gives you so many insights and you can check for milestones over here. So you can see that my channel just reached uh, 65,000 views all time and it's very good to use. You can make so many great things with TubeBuddy. Now this particular app is a great app that you might consider downloading just right now. It is called BitLinks. Have you ever imagined how stressful it is for you to copy such a long 
uh, title or a long URL for somebody to just click on it. No, what I've observed is that people don't actually click on URLs that has YouTube in it because they think that it is going to take them to YouTube. This is how you're going to trick them out. Now, let's go to my YouTube app over here. And let's say I have this particular video. So what I have to do is I just click on share. And then I can copy this link. It is very long. So what do you do is you go to bit link. And then you go to the plus sign over here. So you're going to create a new. So you say that paste the long URL. And then you paste it very long like this. And then you go to create. So it's going to create a new link for you. These are all links that I've created. And then you tick over here to confirm it so now all that you need to do is you go to your big links and then you click on any one of them this is the one that i created for my cartoon now another aspect of it is that it gives you insights to how many people or where people are clicking your links from so over here the analytics or the statistics show that Ghanaian people are taking over 52 percent followed by nigeria and then united states and then six different countries which covers 17 percent of the link so if you want to share you just go over here share and then you copy that link so instead of giving you the youtube long link it is going to give you this particular um, bit.ly forward slash then they they give you some different couple of numbers it is very good to use people wouldn't know that it is a youtube link unless they click on it and they will find out that they are going to watch some interesting video so you definitely might want to try that app finally i'm going to talk about az screen recorder if you might be asking yourself how on earth i'm recording this particular tutorial i'm using az screen recorder now the interesting part of it is that you can use it for live streams on facebook youtube and other platforms that you might want to use it uh, it's so sad that i can't uh, click on it to show you how it works because uh, Actually when you're recording you can't also Open the app and show people how but trust me. It is very good app to use you can set your frame size You can set the frames per second. You can set how uh, Things are being recorded and so many stuff and then you can use it for live streams and different things so those are my best five apps that i use on my phone for youtube aside the normal youtube app there are other apps like thumbnail maker canva you can use that also for uh channel ads and banner and so many great things i'll try and cover all those things in the subsequent videos to come so if you are interested and you want to see those videos you hit me up in the comments and let me know if you want to see those apps also and then i'll try and make a video on that and then don't forget to like and subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that anytime i post such interesting videos you probably might want to see it thank you so much for watching i'll get back to you with another video innocent here bye